Yeah, guys. Hello. And I'm finally here with Miss Monochrome. It's the ninth episode of the second season review. And before I start talking about it, I'll say that I'm sorry that I didn't bring it out as yesterday as I promised I would. But <sighs> I kind of got tired and fell asleep. It was, uh, not because I watched this episode, it was something else I watched um, that made me fall asleep. So, yeah. But I have uh, watched, um, shall I say, the thing that distracted me yesterday. So now I should be able to focus 100% on bringing out the reviews and keeping up, uh, you know, my uh, progress so I don't fall like two, three, four X numbers of episodes behind. Yeah, let's talk about Miss Monochrome. This um, episode. It is interesting because we find out that Miss Monochrome has some hidden abilities. First of all, she basically takes a chunk of what I would. It looks like obsidian, but but it it most likely metal. I don't know any. However, I don't know any metal that is black. And she basically, like, uh, with uh, some beams, melts it down to a 3D printer. 3D prints uh, a Miss Monochrome uh, amusement park, uh, like a miniature version of it. And yeah. Uh, her. Not manager. I cannot recall what she is. Um, you know, the, the clumsy girl. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't write down the names. So. Uh, she is basically saying that it is possible, uh, like, with to build that with like 150 billion yen, I presume. I don't think they're talking in dollars, but yeah, they don't have that, so they can't build that. So instead, uh, yeah, we find out that, uh, let's say, Rue is uh, the little vacuum cleaner, it is even more. Versatile because it basically like in a snap changes the room <laughs> and Miss Monocon can do that also uh, she basically like changes the room into space and yeah it's not good working in a 3D yeah in a zero G space so Miss Monochrome teleports them or changes the room uh, actually to um, a floor bed with the uh, flowers and it's actually funny because on the same floor bed uh, where they are taking uh, like uh, you know uh, publicity shots of Miss Monochrome, they actually meet uh, her rival. I, I really should write down that girl's name, but you know the the super idol. And yeah, they are actually very good friends it seems, uh, and uh, we also meet Manachan. The reason why they are out there is because they are shooting a music video there. Um, and Manachan gives uh, Miss Monochrome a very good tip because says, he says that, that there's shots you have here. Yeah, because they had already taken some shots of Miss Monochrome. It looks ordinary. But maybe you should try changing your image so you show the fancy side of you that isn't like normally shown. <laughs> It's really funny how Miss Monochrome does it because she basically pulls out like a, a magical girl stuff and changes like first to Afro, then a punk, uh, you know, the punk one, then to the Japanese hairstyle uh, and changes a lot until she finally ends up on the thumbnail. And I will say, <laughs> the episode, it is a good one, but Still, it's not as good as the previous one, which I hope you all have watched. But yeah, there's pretty much nothing else happening in this episode, so I think I will be wishing you all a good day, good night, wherever you are, and uh, start on watching that mi uh, Monster Musume. Since, uh, yeah, it's kind of late bringing it out, but yeah. what can you do? Well, see you guys. Cheers.